Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we're going to take on Man City in the European Consolation Trophy. That is the Europa League final. Once you get there though, you've got to win it, haven't you? You've got to have a real good go at winning it. And you see where I'm going with this. I'm looking at you, Man United, with your two shots on target in 120 minutes. I'm pretty sure Keith Hill took over you guys for that final because that's how we had Trammy playing for the last three months. It was a bit. I, I don't know what is, what is a Fred. What does Fred? Do? I'm talking away into a million dislikes here, aren't I? Sorry, I'm sorry. Apologies, Man United fans. You've got to get rid of Solskjaer though, and you've got to have a clear off that midfield. McTominay is your best midfielder. That says it all, doesn't it? Really. Anyway, we're going to take on Derby first. John Terry's Derby. So what? Lock up your wives and daughters. He may be about 65 in this universe, but I'm fairly sure. He's still the same John Terry. Since you'll ask me, a couple of games, and as you can see, I have every right to mock Man United because we did beat them. But first we play Villa. Now look at this team. It's just war-to-war -war wonder kids. Apart from Brignon and Marzuki, who are regulars, nobody else. We did bring Maravich on at the end for Brignon, just to give him a rest. But Meza got two, Estevez got the other. Total domination, 3-0 win away from home against Villa. Can't complain. And we are in good form now, which is excellent. And then United, 3-1 at home, 3-1 at their home. I just really look at it. You know what really annoys me? You know when you get the packs? Because of issues of United trying to sue Sports Interactive, you still can't get the proper badge. And I know there's a way of doing it, but it's a bit of a hassle. But we went to United with a full team, 1-3-1. It was 2-0 at half-time. It should have been on four. We really did put them to the sword that first half. They got one back and I thought, oh, here we go. They're going to win 3-2. But Meza came off the bench and put one in. So, really, really deep. Well, a good win away from United. Away from home at United. They haven't lost a game at home in about 38 games, I think it was. They had the best record in the league, but now they have. So, it takes us to Derby. The last game of the season. We are currently... Well, we won the league, didn't we? We have 89 points. So, we can get 92, which is fine. Nicholas is going to finish top goal scorer. I'm confused at the average ratings because quality shouldn't be there. His team are currently fifth, joint Liverpool. He's only scored 19 goals. I don't understand how he's that good. Silver, 14 assists. Surely Silver's got to be higher up than that. 14 assists. Or Nicholas, 28 goals. It's mad, isn't it? Nicholas behind Quasi with the man of the matches. Marzuki. If we keep clean sheets here, he could catch Jelinek and Brewski. No longer the baddest boys of bad boys. So... How are we going to line up? We're going to go with a full team against... Who are we playing? Derby. I keep forgetting. We're going to go a full team against Derby because we've got a bit of a wait. After this game here, there's 11 days between this game and the City game. So, we can play the full team, get out there, maybe increase the average ratings, and this is how we're going to line up. We are going to go with... I have sorted out, haven't I? Oh, look, thank... I thought I had to click on for four days, and I don't know. Marzuki, Bruski, Kith, Brignon, Maravich, Silva, Brito, Eladrissi, Troncoso, Nicholas and Grinelli, the strongest team we have. In fact, Meza's playing better than Troncoso at the moment, so I was almost tempted to put him in. But let's... I might do that in the Europa League final. But let's go out and beat John Terry's Derby County. Sandro's playing for them. And I don't... Is there anybody there that exists anymore? I don't think so. Jack Mooney obviously doesn't exist. It's an interesting name, though. So, um, come on, lads. Show what you can do. Keep our run going. If we get three wins in a row, it's a fairly decent end to the season. And it takes a bit of confidence into that game. If we'd have lost against United and Villa, or not got the points, I'd have been a bit concerned. But City are going to finish outside the European spots. They can only get back into Europe if they win the Europa League. That's how much trouble they're in. Silva's got it, though. He brings it forward. He's had a shot from range. It's a poor shot, but Sandro in Nets there decided that he doesn't save poor shots. It just kind of hit his hands and feet. Silva, he's trying to get the ball off Hackford. Hackford brings it forward. Are we going to the ball? We are. Silva's just took the ball off him. Eladrissi brings it forward. He's been tackled, but he's got there again. Brito's got it now. He's into the box. He shoots. It's a good save by Sandro. Make it up for a bizarre save earlier. We're only two minutes in. We've had two highlights. Here's a third highlight. Brito, ball into the box. And um, the less said about that header from Heldrissi, the better. That is woeful. In fact, he nearly cleared the stands with a header. That makes zero sense. And now we've got a bit of a lull. I don't know why there's a bit of a lull, but there is. But Sandro hoops it forward. 
It goes over Brewski's head. Brewski decides to try and play their striker in, but thankfully Kift was alert and on hand to clean up. Silva brings it forward. He's still going. It's tackled. El Adrissi to Brito. Brito into the box. I ah, squeezed it home just about. Was that not an own goal? Did he not tip that against the post and come back off him? Or did it just go through him? We'll have another look. No, because we do watch the replays so we can find out. Brito picks the ball up in the middle of their half. Drives on. He's gone a bit wide for my liking. And it's kind of, yeah, he's pushed it onto the post and in. But it's kind of just gone through him. Surely, it wasn't the hardest of shots. You just push it wide. Even if he hit the post, he should just he should just course it, really, let's be honest. Silva with a free kick into the box, and it's cleared away. But Marovic is going to get there first. He just danders over. No real rush from him. Puts it into Silva. Silva looks up. Ball into Adres. He headed down. Nicholas is there. 56th goal of the season for Nicholas. What a player. 29 years old now. He is getting on a bit. But what's the prime for strikers? It's about 29, 28, 29. So we'll get a few more seasons out of him. Eldrissi, look at that head. Heads it down and look. Great little finish. It wasn't the prettiest of goals. It was a route one header down, but every goal's a goal. Brito, out to Troncoso. Can you do something, Troncoso? He does. He puts it across for Eldrissi to nod home. It's 3-0. And I might be regretting showing you this game because this could finish 27-0 here. And... I don't want a 45-minute episode for Europa League final. You might be wondering why I'm not showing this as a Premier. Premiers are only for Champions League finals. I'm not showing the consolation prize as a Premier on the channel. Anyway. <laughs> They're all having a good game. They're enjoying themselves. It's another header over the bar. As the chances just keep racking up. 15 shots so far. We're only half an hour in. Look at them. They're just running riot. They've all had a nice little rest, a break. They had a whole week off earlier on with the youngsters playing against Villa and they come back and they're just slaughtering Derby here. I mean, they've had four shots, Derby. Eldrissi's taking a knock. Oh, no. Eldrissi for... We'll get Messer on there. He's, start... He's having a really good game. And... I hope it's just a small knock. That's a few... He gets these little niggles, Eldrissi. Every couple of games. That's... He's out for... Five to ten days. It's nothing major, but... Um, please, keep it going, lads. Just get out there. It's got a few more goals. Enjoy yourself. Get yourselves high in the ratings. Sabin. It's into the box. And uh, they've scored a goal. Leonardo Pereira. He is obviously... He's not as green as he should be. You get that reference. I, I am impressed. But good ball for Sabin. And he rises above Kift. Which, fair play to him, is not the easiest thing to do. Am I worried? Not really. Not really bothered. We might bring off Nicholas who gets another goal for a standard ovation. Troncoso's injured now. Why not? Excellent stuff. Uh, let's kill both our wingers before the biggest game of our season. Why not? Oh, I'm not too worried because Meza, I think, is better than Troncoso at the moment. So, 25 shots, 10 on target, 11 on target now. Um, more of the ball. Need to get, as long as Silver and Brito don't get injured... I'm, I'm all right. I'm happy with it. Maravich, it's headed on. Hackford brings it away, though. Let's not concede another goal, please. He put it through to Herrero. Herrero into the box. He cuts it back. It's cleared by Kift. Granelli to Nicholas. Nicholas back to Granelli. Brito, Meza, beats one man. Into Brito. Brito out wide to Maravich. Maravich looks up. Gives it to Silva. Silva to Meza. Back to Brito. Brito driving forward. Shoots some reins and it's just wide. And how pink a derby. Look at all the fans behind the goal. Maravich to Brito. Brito to Silva. Silva, ball out to Maravich. Maravich, ball into the box. And Joey gets his 12th goal of the season. Now, bear in mind, El Adrissi, who's played all season, has only got 12 goals. That's a good return from Joey. Because he, he, he started about four games all year and has got 12 goals. Fair play to him. Well done, Joey. Maravich. Just puts the ball into the box. And Joey. Doing Joey things. I love him. He just... He's reliable. He never comes on and have a bad game. Let's get Silver off because he's looking a bit on the tired side. Silver for Estevez. Let's get Coach Bombay on. But while he's there, he puts the ball out to Maravich. Mess has got it. Silver. Brito. Mess again. To Maravich. Granelli. Silver. 
Brito, Maravich again, to Silva. Ball towards Meza. Wasn't a great ball, though. And now Sarvin brings it forward. I wonder if he's any good. Hackford's in. And Hackford's, you know what, Mozuki. He's like a cat, isn't he? He's agile. He's fairy. I don't know where I'm going with that analogy. Mooney with the ball into the box. It's headed clear. Can we get them on the break? No, apparently not. Mooney, and they've got another corner. It's just massive pressure from Derby here. Uh, Joey's off the pitch. Come back on, Joey. Join us. Enjoy yourself. Russell, into Mooney. What a tackle that is, Mr. Fez. Coach Bombay with a proper hockey tackle there. Just rah. Anyway, it's out for another corner. And Derby seems to be um, having the best of it at the moment. Mooney, ball into the box, header clear by Kift. What a thumping header that is. He just comes out and just meets it and it's away. Mez has got it. To Maravich, and that's the highlight over. 92 points. We're not going to lose from here, are we? I'm a bit concerned Brito is exhausted. But he's got a little holiday now for 10 days before the next game. And there we go. Won the game. Bigger start. Yeah, yeah. I was going to go on to the Anfield wrap again. I don't know why that sticks in my head every time I won. I say won. But pleased with that. Good, la good lads. 4-1 win. Happy enough. And we will, we will get some end of season rewards here, won't we? There's just a couple. Troncos is out for two to three days. One to two days. There you go. It's not the end of the world. Let's see what Eldressy on form. So he got man of the match. Despite him coming off. Um, what's that? Di Francesco. Eusebio Di Francesco. That's a cracking Italian name, isn't it? He's 65. Career stats. He played for Perugia. Go ahead. Ancona, now known as... An I mean, I can't even click them. They're now known as that. Can't click them on. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to give the boys a rest. We've got 11 days here, so we give them... I'm going to give them three days off. Have three days off, boy. And you can come back and train after that. And let's see what... What awards we get at the end of the season here. Because often, if we've got a Champions League game, you go and see the strange end of the season awards. And I may as well show you them here before we have the full review after the Europa League game, which I will show you. I'm an icon. What does that mean? What have we won there? We'll have a look, won't we? So, we get 42 million, which doesn't do a great deal for the finances, to be honest. Oh, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Leicester get relegated on the last day. Bye, Leicester. Medals for everyone. Everyone gets a medal. Collective bonus paid out. 15.7. I mean, I'm, I'm stingy with the bonus, aren't I? Eldressy Port, yeah, please walk up. Where's all the other stuff? Weekly loan roundup. No one cares about that. Nicholas wins Premier Division top goal scorer by a country mile. 29 goals. He's 56 for the season. What a guy. Greg Wally seems to be there all the time. And he isn't that good, but he can finish. I mean, look at it. He's just... I don't know. I, I, I've looked at him a few times, but he's not going to be good. Golden Glove, Marzuki. Could have come during first there, but decides to throw one in. I am manager of the year. Of course I am. And Lamb, Chairman Corey Lamb is pleased with that. Please sell us, Corey. Team of the season for the Premier League. Mozuki, Kiff, Brignon, Brito, Silver and Nicholas. Surprise, no Maravich in there. A little bit surprised at that. Uh, but the rest, you know what, the rest is what it is. And Brito gets, what did he get? Sell, nearly a million pound for being team of the year. Any other ones? Are we getting any other one here? Heads up, Baldur Foss. What's up, Joey? What's up, Joey? You want to see me? What's the matter? I'm meant to be a regular starter here. I can't env envisage. See, there you go. Because when you get to a certain reputation level, your club and managerial support, if a player comes to you like that, just say, okay, I'll sell you. They'll go, oh, no, 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 don't sell me. And he's, he's a way to be happy about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on to the Europa League final. And I'll see you in a second. Welcome back to the Europa League final. I've made one change. I've brought in Meza for Troncoso. Meza's just playing better. I'm not. I'm ignoring the star ratings because you should. He's just been playing better. We did get a raft of injuries that nearly ruined us. Keiki's out for two months. Salazar's out for a month. Joey is out for two months. Lifting weights. I need Joey. I like Joey. Joey needs to be around. So our bench is looking a bit sparse. Uh, El Adrissi came back no problem. Uh, Troncoso came back no problem. We did have an issue with. I think Grinelli picked up a knock for one or two days. And so did Kift. If you look here, he's maintaining match sharpness rather than just being in a good place. So, for the Europa League final, last game of the season against Man City, this isn't going to be easy. And this is how we're going to line up. 
Mozuki, Bruski, Kip, Brignon, Maravich, Silva, Brito, Eladrissi, Meza, Nicholas and Granelli. And yes, sometimes it does sound like I'm in a competition with myself to see how quickly I can say that. But I'm used to the back. That back four has been the same for the last three seasons. Uh, they got Nasi Univar still playing for them, who must be getting on a bit now. They got the boy I can't... Oh, excellent. Europa League final and the boy I can't pronounce is playing for them in midfield. I was going to say, they're managed by a guy called Michael Robinson. That's me. It's Sergio Coen. It's Conceição, isn't it? It is Conceição. There you go. Dembele's a decent player. Yao. Uh, Univar. They can fill their bench. Look at that. I can't. Vinicius Junior's down on the bench still. Again, another one must be getting on a bit now. That's what do we say here. There's a trophy on the line. Go on, yeah. Go on, show you. You're born winners. You are. Uh, we haven't won the... Now, Yeah. The Europa League isn't massively important, but it's a trophy we haven't won. We haven't won a European trophy at all, which is a bit alarming. But Dembele with a free kick, and it's a great save by Marzuki. Uh, and if we keep playing like this, it's a trophy we'll never win. So come on, boys, let's pick it up a little bit. We'll go positive, because I don't know why we're balanced. We're better going forward. Uh, we haven't had a shot yet, so let's demand a little bit more. they got another corner. Dembele into the box. It's headed clear, and... Oof, just whistles wide. Are we shooting on sight? Shoot on sight. Let's get these shots up. We haven't... We're not in the game at all at the moment. I mean, look at this. Abysmal is a word I'd use. Uh, remove instruction, get stuck in. Okay, you told me to put that instruction in. So that's your... That's on you. Theo Walcott. Meza's having a bad game. Oh, Meza. Is he, are you not a big game player? Is that one of your things? More negative... Struggling to connect with Brewski. Has he got... I don't know. You can only see the traits and things. And maybe he's not a big game player. Maybe that's it. No shots. I am going to go... I'm not happy with that. I'm far from pleased with that performance. You wingers need to pick yourselves up. Silver's having a bad game. Brewski's injured. Excellent. Why not? And we haven't got Salazar to bring on. Uh the Risley at left back. He can't play left back. Eladrissi gets down the wing. He's tackled, but he's got it back. He gives it to Silva. Back to Eladrissi. Balls into the box. The Risley. Look at the size. He's a big lad. Brito. Brito is tackled, but he's got it back. He's going down the wing. Can he get a good ball in? He gives it to Granelli. Granelli to Silva. Silva! What a goal that is. He was on a 6.2. And he's just out. He, no, he won't. he's 6.3. Anyway. He just slammed that in. <laughs> what a guy. Long shots, 18, remember. Haven't seen him score many long shots this year. But look at this. Not even a touch, just bang. Top corner, keeper no chance. And we're on the way to winning our first European trophy. And the first thing I'm going to do is get Meza off for Troncoso, who will at least drive us forward. He'll just run with the ball. That's all he does. And we're now back into the game a bit more. More shots are coming in, I think. Or is that going to be it? This is the most boring final ever. Well, apart from the one last night, which is bloody awful. Troncoso to Brito. Brito to Maravich. Maravich down the wing. Can he get a good ball into the box? He just holds up. He does get a ball in, but it's cleared. Brignon there. Look at that big head from Brignon. Troncoso. Silva's got it now. Tron Eladrissi from range. He's put plenty of care on that. I thought that's a poor shot, but it whipped right back in. We've had slightly more of the ball than we did first half now. Brito into the box, and it's blocked from Eladrissi. That was a great bit of play, though, from... Was it Grinelli who backheeled that back? Nicholas isn't playing well at all. You don't expect that from Nicholas. But with four minutes to go, we got a free kick. Silva with a free kick. It's tipped over by Perez. Well, right, you know what? We've had just as many chances as they have now. They haven't had a chance this half. Kift, head to clear. Granelli's got it. Granelli to Eladrissi. Eladrissi beats his man, just knocks it past him. He's still going. He shoots from range. You know what? I'll give him that because there's only 20 seconds to go. And could we be winning our first European trophy? 94th minute here. There's another highlight. There is Lee, who should be doing that. If anything, he can win a header against their winger. See if they score down this side. I'm going to cry. Ruiz. Ball. And just goes out for a goal kick. And that's it. Game over. We've won a European trophy. Okay, it's the Europa League.
But we've gone one step further than United. And we played a good team. Beating Man City 1-0. I am I'm fairly pleased with that. It's been a decent season. We've won the league. We've won the Europa League. There you go. We got to the semi-final of the FA Cup. We got to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. We had a poor season in the Champions League. But next season we will rectify that. And there we go. Black and white ticker tape. You're used to it by now. We're all the way out in Bilbao. The Spanish don't know what to make of it. A dar- What's a Darlington? I've just heard a guy say behind me. And uh, I'd agree. What is a Darlington? The best team in the world is what it is. And there we go. Players walking around the pitch. Why has he got... <laughs> the substitute goalkeeper's got pink pants on. Uh, we did have the best of games. We were much better second half. And... You know what? It was a poor final all round, I think. Congratulations, congratulations, but enjoy these moments, you deserve it. Gotta be a bit more sincere, a bit more like, you know, a bit nicer. How pleased are you winning the European Cup? The Euro Cup, sorry, which is the Europa League. Um, I'm pleased, so, yeah, you know what? The referee had a lot of work today with your team. For yourself. Does that evidence aggression worry you? They show commitments, I won't apologise. I'm not apologising for my players kicking people. You know what? So proud. Kieran Neufville. Neu- Natalie Beckham, that'd be David's great granddaughter. Fantastic result, defended well, attacked well. We didn't, it was rubbish. But we've won it. So there we go. And we get a little bit of money. British each for two to three days. Tight hamstring, the big one. Uh, we get 7.76 million. How much am I giving this away? <laughs> giving away of this? Uh, well, Darlington fans sang my praises. Of course they do, of course they do. They're pleased with the Euro Cup win. They're delighted with it, in fact. Uh, City have won three. Of the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three of the last seven Euro, Euro, uh, Europa Leagues. Interesting. Felicia drops expectations to be registered for the Euro Cup. Of course he does. He has to now because we're not in it anymore. Uh, <laughs> now let's see the end of season review. Let's do that. What's this? Sport Bible Euro Cup review. Biggest overachievers. Arda 1924, Cardazali. Where the hell are they from? Bulgaria. When have they got any good players? Plamen Dinev. He's 16. Ooh, well, well, I've got... I mean, look, teamwork, determined, bravery. These are... Teamwork, okay. <coughs> bravery for a centre-back, okay. He's tackling... You know what? He might be fairly good. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at him anyway. Uh, I don't know why. I've gone off on tangent there. Biggest underachieving, Sturm Graz, which, again, is interesting. Uh, they've got a Spanish striker. Look at the physicals. That's fa- He's fairly... Uh, jumping re- See when your striker's got a jumping reach of three. You might be a little bit worried. I wonder if he's, he's only five for five. Five for five striker. Wanted by... Stoke. <laughs> he's not their typical striker, is he? Best match was the 2-2 draw. Bizarre. Bizarre. But let's, let's get our end of season review. Where has it gone? Come on, end of season review. There we go. We won the... Oh, we won the Community Shield as well, didn't we? The new arrivals. Who was the best? Prosperi. They liked Prosperi. The board of the license with him. Keiki, the board of content. <coughs> My voice is going. Board of the license with Meza. I think Meza was the best sign. Um, and this boy. See, we, we brought in loads of Wonder Kids. There's loads of loaned out as well. That's Morello. I forgot about him. Again, another centre back. Um, Diego Felicia. Marcus Antonio is going to be a good winger. Can play in the middle of the park as well. He played for Derby, who got relegated though. And Silio Guilherme. Um, where do we get this boy from? I paid 7.25 million from my drunk. Anyway, that's how the new arrivals look. English Premier League, we won it. Of course, we won it. 99% home attendance. Top goal scorer was Nicholas. The Friendly Cup, we won that too. I mean, look at the teams we played in. Champions League, we got a D. They weren't happy with that. I wasn't happy with it at all. 10 points normally gets you through, though. European club, B+. A B+, look at the scores here. <coughs> I am, I'm really struggling, aren't I? English FA Cup, we've got C- minus for finishing the semi-final. Carol Cup, we've got a C. Community Shield, C+. Plus. No one cares about it. Best, biggest win, 10-1. Match the Remmer, a 4 0 win at Watford. Goal of the season goes to Nicholas against Everton. It was a good goal. I wish he'd fix it so we could see it. We can't. Finances wise, same in sponsorship. It shouldn't show less. 
Broadcast revenue less because we were in the Champions League. Competition prize money, 42 million less. Match day commercial retail, we're up on that one though. Um, the club's reputation has not changed. No new sponsorships. Club's finance haven't improved over the year, they haven't. Shirt sales, over half a million shirt sales. Look at that, 25 million in merchandise. That's pretty. Brito, Nicholas, Morel, Kift and Silver. I'm trying to sell Morel. How are you lined up? Grinelli, Nicholas, Eldris, these two are the wrong way around. Troncoso, Brito, Silver, Bruski, Brignon, Kift, Maravich, and Marzuki. Fairly standard. I won Manager of the Year, did I? I did. Um, we won Manager Month one, two, three, four times. Uh, Club Awards, Player of the Season, Nicholas. Young Player of the Season, Silver. Sign of the Season, Prosperi. Goal of the Season, Nicholas. Top goal scorer, Nicholas. Most assists, 24 assists. That's fairly good, isn't it? Can't complain about that. Competition Awards, Welsh Football of the Year, Kift. European Golden Shoe, Nicholas. Golden Ball, Nicholas. World Player of the Year, Nicholas. French Player of the Year, Nicholas. English Premier Division top goal scorer. Nicholas was basically the Ballon d'Or winner. Why not? And he won everything. Record Breakers, Nicholas is now our top goal scorer of the season with 56. And most player of the matches. And most, low, most league goals by a player. Nicholas is now there with 114. He's been a good signing, hasn't he? We can't complain about him. And I know we spent a ridiculous amount of money from Arsenal for him. But the numbers don't lie. I mean, 114 goals from him since he signed. We're still paying for him. But, you know. And there we go. History in the making. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, who was inducted to the Hall of Fame at 11? Eladrissi and Brewski. So Brewski's in here now. Tulloch. So there's our team of the saves so far. Marzuki, Maravich, Kift. Zek Medley's still there. Bruski, Clarkson. Where's Clarkson playing now? Um, he's on free track. Oh, poor Clarkson. Where did he go? He went <coughs> to Forest and then St. Johnson, and even they've released him. I like Leighton Clarkson. Gavi. He's still with us. I'm still trying to sell him. No one wants him. I'm trying. Um, Tulloch, Coca, and Nicholas. Right. So what do we do? What do we do next? Well, we still haven't won that Champions League. So, it's going to be a very, 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 very quiet um, transfer window. Um, summer. We've got no money. We've got the one player coming in. So, we're going to be back for next season with the aim to win the Champions League again. Would anyone like us to do anything differently? Not until... I don't think so. Not until we win the Champions League. Right. I didn't mention early on streaming tonight. Forgot about that. Twitch.tv forward slash echoes at 7pm. On Twitch, which I've mentioned there. Anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit giddy, and my voice is really croaky. So, if I, if I last the stream tonight, fair enough. If you're enjoying this, please, honestly, just like, subscribe. Leave me a comment below, that's all I ask you. Uh, hit the notification bell, all that rubbish. And I'll see you all again tonight, or back tomorrow, for a brand new season.